Hello guys, this is Second Genwin, and today I'm gonna do a comparison between two Galaxy Samsung Galaxy J5 SM J500 F. Yes, both of them are SM J500 F. So as you can see, this is 6.0.1, and this one is 5.1.1. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna do a quick boot up test. So let me shut down both of these devices. Now let's test which one boots up first. Seems that 5.1.1 wins in boot up test. I'm gonna wait for a while, okay. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna test some light games. Let's play Subway Surfer. This one's a bit faster than 6.0.1, but let's see how the performance is. Seems that 5.1.1 is a bit faster in terms of loading, but now let's test the gaming. Yeah, there's a big lag on 6.0.1. Let's test out other games. Six point zero point one wins in this. Once again, guys, this is five point one point one, and this one six zero point six point zero point one. <clears throat> Let's try to play them at the same time. There's no noticeable difference. However, I do see a better performance in 6. Point, I mean Okay, back to our benchmark test. Okay, the next game which I'm gonna play is Super Hex Gun, and let's see how the performance is for both Super of these devices. Not a noticeable difference, but. Okay, now let's see the status of the phone. So as you can see here, 78%, while this 5.1.1 is 87%. So a point goes to 6.0.1 for having a more storage availability. And as you can see on the RAM, while 5.1.1 wins in this case, but let us clean all of these apps and see if there's a difference. 33%, 41%. So yeah, again, 5.1.1 wins in terms of RAM storage. So now let's see the battery life. Oh, that's a big difference there. Yeah, that is a big difference. But 
that shouldn't be that big difference. Just to let you guys know that I charged both of these devices at the same time and discharged it at the same time as well. So yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna do a quick benchmark both of these devices with two different applications. The first one I'm gonna test is on the Geekbench 4. Okay, give me a moment here. Okay. You can see the memory is 1.3.5 on 6.0.1, while 5.1.1 has a memory of 1.36. So it's not a big difference, but yeah, anyways, let's benchmark both of these devices. Seems like 5.1.1 finishes first. Now let's see, let's wait for 6.0.1. Whoa, there's a big performance difference here. You can see that 5.1.1 definitely wins in this Geekbench result. Now let's try with another one. Let's try with Antu too. Okay, all is ready. Now let's test them at the same time. Well, as you guys can see, there's a huge lag, a huge FPS drop, but, how, well, we can't blame Samsung because, of course, this is a mid-range device, but if you were to ask me which devices at least have a smoother performance, then I'd say 5.1.1, but you could, you could also argue because the video is right here and you can tell me which one you think is faster. That's a huge difference there. As you can see, that three. Wait. Oh, it turns out to be the opposite. So 6.0.1 wins in terms of performance according to Antutu. 2. Now let's check the battery life after all those benchmark and test whatever. Still, best battery life here, guys. Best battery life. 45. So same, here the number decreased, so 31 hour and 10 minutes, so I'd say that you guys should go for 6.0.1, it is enhanced, good update, great battery life, great performance. No, no, that's the end of the video, no, you better like and subscribe for more, or I come and hunt you down, and... I do a crazy stuff on you!